it's a must in the USA. I'm talking about beer can chicken, a chicken that is cooked on a beer can. It's seasoned with a spice rub and comes out tasty and juicy. With simple yet mop, watering roast potatoes on the side. Let's get started. First, prepare the dry rub, a blend of spices for adding flavor to the meat. In a mortar, combine the chili pepper. You can choose the degree of spiciness, the paprika, the oregano, the pepper. I'm using ground black pepper, but you could use a blend of peppercorns, for example. The brown sugar. And salt. And pound to a powder. Mortar and pestle are used for grinding coarse ingredients such as peppercorns or chili pepper, cut into pieces. That's enough. Now, place the chicken on a tray. The chicken is already cleaned with head removed and brushed with a melted butter. Or use your hands. Once the chicken is buttered, rub the spice mixture all over the outside. Making sure to cook the chicken completely. Using both hands, Press the seasoning into the meat so that it absorbs the flavors better. After that, wrap the mixture inside the cavity as well. Chicken is seasoned. Now rub in clean film. And place in the fridge for at least two hours or even overnight. Next, prepare the marinade. Mix the beef broth and the Worcestershire sauce together. Not too much because it has a strong taste. This is a flavor injector. Fill the syringe with the liquid. Then remove the chicken from the fridge. recipe, the chicken is not marinated in the mixture, but the mixture is injected into the meat. So start with the breast. And continue in this way.
This keeps the meat very moist and juicy during cooking. We'll serve the chicken with roast potatoes in foil. So, watch the potatoes with the skin on and wrap first in parchment paper, then in aluminium foil. It's time to cook. Usually, the beer can chicken is barbecued on top of an open beer can, using a barbecue with a hood, so that the beer evaporates and releases its flavor into the meat. This recipe is made in the oven. You need a pan like this, called beer can chicken roaster. But instead of placing the beer can here in the center, I'll pour the beer straight into the cone. This allows the beer to release all its flavors during cooking and prevents the fat drippings from smoking. So now, lower the chicken onto the cone. Add more seasoning to touch up any bare spots. Add a couple of sprigs of rosemary and fill in the spaces with the foiled potatoes. They will be baked together. Bake in a preheated steady oven at 383 degrees for about 45-50 minutes. While the chicken is baking, let's see together the ingredients needed for this recipe. Ingredients for the chicken. One whole chicken, about two and a quarter to two third pounds. A quarter stick of melted butter. One can of lager, about one and a third cups. One sprig of rosemary. For the dry rub, one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Two heaping tablespoons of sweet paprika. Half a teaspoon of oregano. One and a quarter tablespoons of brown chili pepper. Two and a half teaspoons of salt. One and a quarter teaspoons of black pepper. For the marinade, less than one cup of beef broth, half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. For the potatoes, four potatoes. I've never tasted such a juicy, flavorful, spicy and tasty chicken. You should try it definitely. And perhaps serve the potatoes with Greek yogurt or sour cream. Cook it yourself and let me know if you liked it.